Yo, how are we doing everybody? So today I'm making a guide talking about how to unlock the salve maker. So for this class you have to start chapter 3, which you will gain access to when you go to the Inderno area. Now you don't have to come over here. Um, the objective marker is on a different town, so this town is not necessarily where you need to go. But if you hop into this town, there's a job here waiting for you. All you have to do to grab it is go into this little building here, and bam, you will start this quest. But they'll ask you to grab some Loon Clover, but the reward is much, much better. The fight with Glenn is very difficult. I don't think it's necessarily as complex as the previous fight we did, but Glenn is definitely somebody you need to be careful with. So this guy has two counters. He has counter physical attacks where he'll use the move Filtre and attempt to charm someone. And then he also has the counter for any damage where he'll use Contagion Agent. And Contagion Agent deals AE damage to everyone in the party and has a chance to, well, afflict someone with Contagion. Um, he also just uses those two abilities like he did right there. Uh, he uses them just very frequently as his regular attacks, so I'll point those out a bit more once he does. Yeah, right now we're just trying to raise our BP and get ready to deal as much damage as we can into the boss. Once again, trying to charm us. Um, Adele, actually, I have her wearing a hat that I picked up in Wizwall. As long as she's wearing that, she cannot be afflicted by charm. Um, there's also an ability you can grab uh, to be immune to charm, and that would be Unshakable Will from the Berserker class. So feel free to check that out if you'd like to have an easier time in this boss fight. Alright, so now that everyone has all this BP, we're going to go ahead and do a lot of damage to him. So I'm going to use Hurt So Bad multiple times, increase my physical attack. We already decreased the opponent's defense. Let's go ahead, yeah, he has minus 20%. I wanted to take a look at that. Um, I think a regular cure can help uh, Seth and Elvis be in a good spot. Yeah, Elvis is probably still going to die to Contagion Agent. His HP is just too low. But here we go, we have Adele. She's immune to the charm, so even though he can counter my physical attacks, I'm not too worried. Oh yeah, I can't actually use all body slams. Uh, with that being the case, let's go ahead and actually open up with a uh, lucky charm. And then do the body slams. I increase my luck. Yeah, 4,800 damage, but not a problem. Oh, he countered both damage and physical attack. That's very unlucky. I know I just buffed my luck, but not so much. Again, immune to charm, so Adele's okay here. Another Contagion Agent, though. Oof. Very, very painful. But yeah, there's nothing you can really do about that. This boss, that is what he does. He is just going to uh, counter any damage. So as long as you're dealing damage to the boss, you just have to be able to tank those. Um, there's better strats I could be using here that I'm not currently using. Like, um, if you use the White Mage ability, I think it's, uh, better than ever. It allows you to heal above your max HP, so that you're able to tank attacks and spells you wouldn't be able to normally. Oh, uh, yeah, let's try to get Elvis back up in the BP department. So, uh, Gloria has Contagion right now. That's gonna make her lose MP every time it's her turn. It's like poison, except it actually takes MP away instead. I'm not too worried about this Gloria. I don't plan on ever using any MP spells with her, so we're not going to bother with uh, trying to get rid of that effect. We're only worried if it's on Seth or Elvis, since they will actually be making use of their MP. Alright, Agent Agents. Oh wow, Protect Ally! I did not know you could protect ally. That's that's very useful. Um, because I thought that was an AD ability. I guess it can target one, or I don't know exactly how that worked out, but we canceled out that attack. That was really, really good. 
Uh, that is definitely just a passive ability for the Shield Master, which both Glory and Adele. I have them on Shield Master. So that was really cool to see go off. Yeah, alright, let's go ahead and do another indefensible teal. And then Adele, if you would like to body slam, go ahead. All oh, 3k. Yeah, I can't be hit by charm. Alright, so what I'm actually going to do here, because I'm worried about him dropping low. I don't want him to do that immediately, because it can be bad. Essentially, once the boss is at a low HP, or lower HP, once he hits about like 50%, he will start to use Giga Potion and heal himself for about 5,000. I don't want to deal with that if I don't have to. Yeah, here we go. We do have Contagion on Elvis, so I'm going to go ahead and remedy that. Do not want to lose that MP. It's pretty useful for me. There we go. Finally, we have the max BP on Adele. That cure is fine. Alright, so with that being the case, I can now go in, but we are going to wait for, um... Yeah, actually, let me treat Elvis, give him some MP. But yeah, what I want to do is have Elvis go first, so that he can use Hurt So Bad. Increase my damage. Okay, okay, Seth is up. Seth's just default, so you don't necessarily die to Contagion Agents. It was still in there. The charm? Ooh, it did not hit. Very lucky for me. Alright. I am ready. Ah, oh, he might kill everyone, though. <laughs> There's a chance he kills everyone because they have low HP and he can counter all damage. Um, with that being the case, I think I'll actually high potion Seth and then go for the body slams. Alright, here's hoping for the best. Up, oh, counter any damage. There it is. Not what I wanted to see. Alright, that one missed. Yep, counter physical attacks and counter any damage. He got both counters off. Very unlucky. Seth is probably dead. Yep, only Glory and Elvis are in there. And the boss is now at low HP, so he will start to use Giga Potions. This is pretty bad. Yeah, let's try to get my people up. Ugh, I don't know exactly when the boss is going to take his turn, but let's high potion Seth. Alright, we did get to take our turn. Fantastic. So, let's go ahead and, yeah. What, just Kiraga? Yeah, Kiraga and Cure. Oh no, I meant to do AE on that one. Well, that works. Gloria actually was the main person that needed that. Okay, okay, we're still fine, we're still fine. Yeah, raise that BP. Raise that HP. Yeah, those Contagion Agents, taking those back to back is very brutal. Yeah, there's the Giga Potion I was talking about, so he just healed himself for a lot. But uh, we did do a lot of damage, so he's still only at uh, 15k, thankfully. Yeah, hopefully I can knock out the boss around here. Ah, uh, it's so risky though. Do I immediately go for the body slam here? Multiple body slams? No, I'll just go for the one. Alright, got the 4k, didn't get charmed, because yeah, if Gloria gets charmed, she'll destroy my entire team. She'll kill all of her teammates. It's very unfortunate. You do not want to get charmed in the middle of queuing up a bunch of different actions. Yeah, with Adele, again, I can't really do it. I can do the one body slam? Yeah, just, just default, just default. Play it safe. Yeah, you go for the indefensible teal, lower his defense. Oh, did he just get the charm off? He did. He got it on Seth. He <laughs> made Seth attack, but Seth ended up doing no damage. That's fine. Alright, attack my own person. Because, yeah, if you ever need to attack your own ally, all you have to do is hit the right thumbstick, and you can target your own people. Yeah, I'll do that. Or no, just bodyguard. Bodyguard Seth. Don't let him die if you can help it. And then all these body slams. There we go. Very good damage. Can't be charmed. He doesn't do the uh, worst ability there. So that's really good. He just default. Now, Gloria, you can just finish this fight, please. <laughs> yes, let's go! Because, yeah, every single time I hit him, there's a chance he does that uh, Contagion Agent, or he could charm Gloria. Gloria will kill the whole team. But, uh, yeah, no, it worked out. 
Uh, that's definitely a very difficult way to go about this fight. Um, if you have guaranteed uh, charm immunity, it's way easier. Also, if you're using magic casters, like if you're using a uh, black mage, you can definitely uh, fight for using those spells instead, dealing damage in that way so he can't actually counter a physical attack. But yeah, he can always counter damage, so you can't really get past the Contagion Agent. But uh, either way, that's going to be me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if so, please let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, if you use any different strategies, tell me about that as well. And make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more Bravely Default 2 videos. I'll be making a lot of these going forward. But yeah, that's going to be me. Peace.